good afternoon dear students so previous class we <coughs> discussed about distribution of major industries <coughs> distribution of <coughs> major industries especially we studied about the iron and steel industry and also in case study <coughs> we learnt about the jamshed four and as well as pittsburgh also today's class we are going to discuss about cotton textile industry cotton textile industry okay see dear students uh, even in i mean our country it is so famous for its textiles especially cotton textiles see weaving cloth from air is an ancient art because that we can observe even in the earliest civilizations only see by using cotton wool silk jute and flax so all this <coughs> have been used for making cloth in the different part of the world and as well as in even in our subcontinent also so then don't get confusion sir uh, we know about cotton wool silk and jute and what about these uh, flax so flax means uh, what we called in canada the plant uh, which actually a very similar to see also henant karithara makla adike agase mara ant en karithara agase beeja agase mara so even agase wo enide ala adana ahar dalu sa balistare so adanna balise adara narinda ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಾಣ್ತೀವಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಹೂಲ್ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜೂಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಸೊ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ raw materials which they are used in those industries so based on that cotton in, i mean the sorry the textile industries are classified see of your of knows that fibers are the raw material of textile industry fiber so fiber is a raw material understood fiber is a raw material so dear students so in cotton textile uh, i am sorry in textile industries a fiber is a one of the essential raw material understood so fibers can be natural or man understood so then we can see the two types of fiber so it can be natural and it can be man so there are two types of fibers which are using in textile industries understood so the fiber is a raw material in textile industry fiber can it may natural one or it may man made fiber got it now see the natural fibers natural fibers how can we get the natural fibers anybody can you guess anybody can you guess how can we get the natural fiber see natural fibers are obtained from already i told that wool silk jute understood wool <coughs> silk jute and cotton understood now so natural fibers are obtained from wool silk jute cotton and silk so 
the natural fibers natural fibers can be obtained from all these different resources from wool silk jute cotton and linen understood see uh, what about man made fibers what about man made fibers see dear students the man made fibers it's including so i think it is a lot of velvet cloth nylon polyester bahut sare but hum dekho the gutta gutta matlab it's nylon but hai polyester but hai mix turkey rayon hige bare bare hesarinda a battagalanna karita ಹೇಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಹೆಸರಿಂದ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬಳಸಿ ಆ ಬಟ್ಟೆಯನ್ನ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹೆಸರಿಂದಾನೆ ಆ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೈಲಾನ್ ಬಟ್ಟೆ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ನೈಲಾನ್ ಸ್ಯಾರಿ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ಸ್ಯಾರಿ ಕೊಡನ್ ಸ್ಯಾರಿ ಪಾಲಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಯಾರಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಹಾಗೆ ರೆಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫೈಟರ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಲಾನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸ್ಟರ್ and acrylic and rayon so these are some of the man made fibers get it got it now so please keep it in your mind dear students so the textile industry can be classified on the basis of the raw materials which they are used in them okay so based on that cotton textiles are classified so here yeah, the fibers are the raw materials for the textile industry fibers are raw materials for the <coughs> textile industry so here yeah, fibers are the raw material of industry and it can be natural or it can be man made also so we can get natural fiber also and we can get man made fiber also so natural fiber we can get from all these sources okay such as wool silk jute cotton and linen and man made fibers that includes nylon polyester acrylic and rayon getting now see <coughs> the cotton textile industry it is one of the oldest industries in the world i think you all of you knows that when we are studied the different the ancient civilization so in the different part of the world the different people so they were used they knows the use of the cut they well they were used and there were a lot of evidence witnesses and the written uh, sorry written documents also so even Uh, since ancient time onwards our country also it's so famous for its cotton textile production especially cotton textile clothes okay so that shows that the cotton textile industry it is one of the oldest industry in the world getting dear students so the cotton textile industry then don't think sir agidra ha kaladalli higittala ange doddu doddu industries kalidva doddu doddu karkhane galidva illa irbodu makkala it may in a small unit so they may run they may st- even they may hatch in home also manen irbodu athwa sanna small unit irbodu so hage but the use of cotton they knows very well so that's what it is one of the oldest industries in the world see till the industrial revolution in the 18th century cotton cloth was made using hand spinning techniques bochu nimge ellaru gotide makkala so kaigarika kranti haagoduku nan modlu so how they are actually getting the cotton so by using hand spinning techniques especially wheels and looms wheels and looms so this is what the, the technology or techniques so they were used so before industrial revolution so they were used i mean so the cotton cloth was actually 
made using the hand spinning techniques of wheel and looms hand spinning so adana eldu ele tegidu batte enna neyta idu okay so in the 18th century power looms facilitated the development of cotton textile industry getting these students so after the industrial revolution especially during 18th century what happened so instead of using a hand so the place were occupied by the power looms instead of hand looms so kai magada jagadalli en bantu antu helidre power looms andre ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ತನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿ ಯಂತ್ರಗಳನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿ ಆಧುನಿಕ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿ ಸೊ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಘಟಕಗಳು ಕೈಗಾರಿಕಾ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿಯಿಂದಲೇ ಶುರುವಾಯಿತು ಆ ಒಂದು ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಏಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಪವರ್ ಲೂಮ್ಸ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಿಟನ್ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ the power looms were used in the world now so it was in britain and later in other parts of the world okay <coughs> so during 18th century so first time in britain so they were used power looms okay and afterwards so it was spread into other parts of the world also now today india china understood now so now present india china and japan and even united states of america understood now so these are some of the important producer of the cotton textiles getting these students so one the vicharana nanu illi gamanisbek makra the cotton textile industry it is one of the oldest industry in the world so till the industrial revolution in the 18th century the cotton cloth was actually made using hand spinning techniques that is a wheel and looms or what we call hand looms and in 18th century so power looms facilitated the development of cotton textile industry so first time it was in used in britain and afterwards so afterwards so the other parts of the world it was spread now presently india japan china and usa so these are the some of the important producers of the cotton textile in the world so please keep it in your mind once again i would like to repeat so in the present days india china japan and usa are important producers of cotton textiles in the world getting now see dear students india has a glorious tradition of producing excellent quality cotton textiles namge ella tilide ide makkala so european arna attract martatta baalashtu vastugalalli bharatada battenu saha means the cotton cloth especially we may heard about the muslin cloth the muslin cloth so india has a glorious tradition of producing excellent quality of cloth especially excellent quality of cotton cloth cotton cloth and textile see before the british rule indian hand spun and indian hand woven cloth already had a wide market in throw in the world especially european market nimgella gottide makkala na vidyasthil kaltidivi so bharatada sambara padarthagalige athwa masala padarthagalige hage bharatada cotton textiles enidiyala so european market alli agadhavadantaha bedike ವಿಶಾಲವಾದಂತಹ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಯುರೋಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯುರೋಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಹೋ
ಸೊ ಅವರು ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರೇರೇಪಣೆ ನೀಡಿದಂತಹ ಅತ್ಯಮೂಲ್ಯ ವಸ್ತುಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಭಾರತದ ಮಸಾಲೆ ಪದಾರ್ಥಗಳು ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕಾಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಏನ್ಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಹಾರ್ಕಿಯಾಲಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಸಹ ನಾವು ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಾಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಬಳಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿದ್ದನ್ನ ಕಾಣ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೂಮನ್ ಕ್ಲಾ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ವೈಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಮಸ್ಲಿನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಮಸ್ಲಿನ್ ಕ್ಲಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಢಾಕ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮಸ್ಲಿನ್ ಕ್ಲಾ So, Dhaka's muslin cloth was so famous. Understood now. So, the muslins of Dhaka. And chins of muslin pattern. Understood now. So, muslins, Dhaka, and chins so masli patana atho present day is called as machli patana understood present day it's called also machli patana masli patana okay masli patana and the another the brand that is called as calicos Kali Kos from anybody can you guess the name itself shows that Kali Kos of Kali Kat Kali Kos of Kali Kat and Gold Road Cotton Gold Road Cotton so this gold road cotton it is a famous in burhanpur burhanpur getting these students and can you guess even there are so many other the places also associated with a textile industries anybody can you guess so anybody see this actually this gold road cotton it's so famous in bhavanapur and as well as actually without mentioning that the surat even the present day also the surat and then bombay bombay mill i think you all of you are about now it's called as the present mumbai so bombay mill so the bombay surat vadodara so diva this are all actually so famous for the cotton textile production getting dear students so bhavanapur surat and vadodara so these were all actually were known worldwide for their quality and design it is vishwa ke tarike to mangla is so the whole world knows about all this place and all this is the different clothes because these clothes are the wide wide market also especially so muslins of dhaka chins of masli patna and calicos of calicut gold road cotton of especially bhavanapur surat and vadodara getting now see these places and the production whatever they are produced the textiles so it is a well nice quality and design but the production of hand woven cotton textile it was so expensive that we all of knows that so producing cloth through hand looms even the 
of course the quality of the production it is so high there is no more question about this but the quantity of the production is less and also it is more expensive getting dear students so by using the hand looms or hand spun or hand woven cloth it has taken a lot of time it requires a skillful workers or the labors also and it has taken a lot of time also and it is so expensive also and time consuming that's what i told it has taking a lot of time to produce the less number of production then the count produce right okay see that's what dear students traditional cotton textile industry could not face the competition from the new industry yake ondu bharatada avandu ishtala of course quality vichara bandaga design vichara bandaga material vichara bandaga so these are all actually superior superior quality superior but when we will come to the production it's completely less so why because no and it's so expensive also so these the hand loom industry cotton textile industry of our india so cannot compete with the new industry so they could not compete understood no so especially the students so the the modern textile industries were uh, well developed the modern textile mills in the west okay but those the production whatever they were produced in uh, the modern mills they were so cheap also and even the good quality fabrics also through mechanized industrial mills so they were produced so cheap and mechanized i mean the, the even of course there is a the good quality of fabric also by using mechanized industrial units so that's what become very cheap but what happened so our textiles our these products are so expensive also and could not compete with the modern mill production also so in this way dear students so actually faced a lot of problem lot of problem so the first successful mechanized textile mill which was actually established in mumbai in 1854 so about this we are going to discuss in the next class thank you have a nice day